For this video I'll be working through the level 2 2015 electricity exam. Just question 1. Question 1. Electric field in a wire. Hamish connects a circuit as shown in the picture below. The circuit comprises of a 6 volt battery, 1 meter of nichrome resistance wire and 2 connecting wires. Um, the battery produces a uniform electric field in the nichrome wire. Just underline that. Uniform. Assume the connecting wires have no resistance. Calculate the strength of the electric field in the nichrome wire. So that's fairly straightforward. We have on our formula sheet um, E for electric field is voltage over distance. If it's got a change in E, it means it's energy, um, or EK is just kinetic from mechanics. So E is equal to voltage over distance, which is just 6 volts in the wire divided by 1 meter equals 6 uh, 0 volts per meter. Here we go. B. Explain what happens to the size of the electric force on an electron as it travels through the nichrome resistance wire. So the formula for electric force, if you look on your formula sheet, is force equals E. Put a hat on top of that. Q. I'll put hats on top of all. I should really put hats on top of that. Hats on top of all my electric fields, and I should with the force as well, because they're all vectors, and it just helps me distinguish between vectors and scalars. Um, if you don't know what a vector is, look it up. You should already. All right. So. Assuming so, the E field is constant as well as the charge, spell it correctly, Q, brackets Q, so the force is constant. I need to write an eta down. Constant. Right, that's pretty straightforward. Calculate the distance moved by an electron if it loses 9.6 times 10 to the negative 20 joules of potential energy. So, we are looking for the electric potential, form uh, electric potential formula, which is right here on our formula sheet. Change in energy, uh, EP is equal to the electric field times the charge times the distance. We have that's energy, that's E P. We've got the electric field. E is uh, equal to, in fact, I'll just write the whole formula. Electric potential is equal to the electric field, put a hat on top to distinguish the two, uh, times the charge, times the distance. That just comes straight off our formula sheet. What we're trying to do is find the distance. And we'll assume we've got everything else because I know we do. So let's rearrange for uh, distance. We're going to have E P. Move the E and the Q down this side. So divide both sides by EQ. EQ equals D. All right. All we need to do is substitute in some numbers, and I'll just write out the writing. So the electric potential. We'll just write that up here at 9.6. It should be a six times 10 to the negative 20. 20, not 12. Oh, it's terrible. Um, I want to write this over here actually, that's disgusting. 9.6 times 10 to 20 divided by electric field, which is just 6.0 times 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. 6 times 10 to the negative 19. I got that because the charge on the electron is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. Um, and you can put in a negative, but all it does is spit out the negative distance, which applies, that tells you the direction it goes. Um, you don't need to for this one here. Um, you plug that into your calculator, it gives you 0 0.10 meters. 2SF, 2SF, because pretty much everything's given to you. The lowest um, significant figures is the battery, which is 6, and that's 2SF. So your answers need to be in 2SF, right? Hamish then adds. Another 6 volt battery in series and shortens the wire to 0.5 meters. Write a comprehensive explanation on what will happen to the size of the force on the electron. Calculations are not needed, but you probably want to use formula to support your answer. Um, so you don't want to actually have numbers, but anyway. Right, just a little rant. That is not enough writing for an exam. This is 2015, you should have the whole page. Ugh. F 
e, well at least half the page anyway, e q, you could probably do it, e equals v over d. So this is what I'm going to start with. I'm going to relate, so I'm looking at the force, uh, which is electric field times a charge, but I'm doubling the voltage and halving the, and halving the, the wire, because originally it was one meter, now it's going to go down to half a meter. So I'll just state that here, adding um, a six volt battery in series, I'm going to spell this properly, series will double the voltage. If it was added in parallel, it would, wouldn't really do much at all. It would allow more current to flow, assuming the Nikon wire has very, very, resistant, very little resistance and it's just relying on the internal resistance of the battery to you know, supply its maximum amount of current. But it wasn't parallel, it wouldn't do much. And shortening then the wire to 0.5 meters will half the distance. Distance. In other words, E equals, so this is the electric field, I'll put a hat on top, I'm just using this formula up here, 2V over 0.5D, which is basically equal to 4E. Um, so if you plug that into there, F equals 4E Q, the force will increase um, by a factor of 4. Put some explanation marks. There we go. And that answers the question. Yep, done.